You know, me and Kevin talked about this when I was dying. Like we said, the new currency of the world has nothing to do with your what you have. It's your energy and who you are and your personality and your love. So the new currency in the world has nothing to do with material aspects. The new currency of the world is your wisdom, your love, your compassion, your trust, your honesty, your respect. Um, basically all those things. You know, we used to say plur in the rave scene. And even though the rave scene was had some very toxic things to it, it's still a very good philosophy to live by, if, even if you're not a raver. When you say plur, it's peace, love, unity, and respect. If we could all just, you know, we don't have to bring back the word plur because, you know, it's kind of weird and it brings back memories of too many drugs. But if we could wrap the concept in our minds that the, really the whole concept of life is peace, love, unity, and respect then we might come to agreement that even though some people excel in some passions, while some people excel in different, then it makes the world turn. Because at one point, I was jealous of Alex because he had his own show. I was very jealous, even though people hated him. I said, man, that dude's a rock star. I said, everybody hates him, but he keeps going. That is a, that is a form of a true man. And everybody's like, why are you jealous of a man of 10 subscribers? I said, I'm jealous of a man that got arrested for false accusations, probably with a little bit of ecstasy in his pocket, you know what I'm saying? And they went hard on him because he's from Afghan. You know what I'm saying, Alex? I remember that. That's, that's wrong, dude. Because I remember you telling everybody about that. You're like, yeah, I got busted with like one pill of ecstasy, man, and they, they threw the books on me, you know. It ain't right. It ain't fair. And you're right, brother. It ain't fair. Because I know people, I know a boy, Horner, and, or not just Horner, I ain't going to speak too many names, but he, he was a trafficker of ecstasy in Dalton with the police department. He trafficked, I don't know, 20,000 ecstasy pills from Miami a week, probably more than that. And the Dalton police was in with him, and so was some of the big meth dealers in Dalton. But the thing was, was they let it go for a while until kids started dying from it. Then they arrested him, and they slapped him on the wrist and let him go to some other town to live. So... You know, it's just, it's just if you have the concept of one upping people, man, it's a dirty concept. So, I think the smartest concept is always peace, love, unity, and respect, and respect the people that are different from you. Because, you know, this might sound weird, but I respect children with autism and children that has different developmental properties and learning ways that doesn't that doesn't comprehend with my knowledge because. If I can, if I understand the way someone thinks, I get bored. But if I have someone that thinks differently, it excites me, and I'm jealous. So as Celeste's son, Alex, had a different way of learning. Um, Alex learned different on computers, and we wanted to try to find a balance with his autism. And it's a challenge, and I love challenges when it comes to the mind. So it, it sounds wrong, but in some ways, I was jealous of Celeste of taking care of an autistic child because it's such a challenge. Even though there was times he would pitch fits and I felt so guilty for him and she changed his diaper and everything. But there was some times and moments that he would turn on the television and watch the fish swim by. He would create stories in his own mind that would excel any adult stories when he was sitting there speaking of the fish that only I could understand. Celeste didn't even understand why he was speaking in autism because I understand where his mind was at the time because I've done so many substances so... You know,